Okay, still we are we haven't go into the shear loading yet. Just a side note. All right, we are still in the axle loading. All right, and the transverse loading. All right, we haven't go into shear loading. Okay, so um, yeah, in this video we'll talk about the realistic system, the realistic case when when choosing the the correct young modulus for your uh, longitudinal and transverse modulus uh, for your composite. All right. This equation is your E1, which you derive in your uh, longitudinal uh, uh, so-called video, where it is in here, I think, yeah, v V2.1 and V2.2. Alright, for a transverse, is this video, alright, yeah, sorry, your, sorry, V2.1 and V2.2.1 is for longitudinal, V2.2 is for your uh, young modulus. So what young modulus? <laughs> For your wow, I wish I this yeah, oh, eh. Sorry, your V two point this two is for your longitudinal. This one is for your transverse. <sighs> Never mind. So um, so in this video we in in a video we talk about the longitudinal one, and then in the transverse one we talk about the this equation E two. Okay, hope that this is pretty clear, and that this this graph itself illustrates the the mod the the curve. Alright, the E one curve is this straight line while the e2 curve is this uh, exponential curve okay and is determined by the volume fraction of the reinforced fiber as compared to the young modulus okay because the equation is in terms of the reinforced uh, fiber of the the volume fraction of the fiber la. okay and uh, there will be a you see there is a dotted line over here there is this this dotted line sort of over here this is a moderation or we can we they, they call this the modified series model of the of the e2 curve for your transverse so there is a modified one is because a mo most probably the modified one uh, model the the real life system better than than the theoretical one so i think the the theoretical one is like that okay or the modified series model is the real system which as you can see this this curve over here all right if, if you go closer take a look the straight line also a bit not straight line you see so it is yeah there's a modified series model within it so the modified series model is somewhat like this so which is the real one all right so it's the the theory one compared to the real one so in the exam you are you are asked you are required to actually know how how to draw this graph and to also uh, illustrate what is the modified series model and the equations that comes with it and remember the x and y axis all right and uh, as you can see the the upper limit and the lower limit the upper limit is your e1 the lower limit is your e2 so your young models will fall within this region all right and this is probably your uh, modified series model already so you want to ensure that your composite young models composite is it falls within this this region, all right, and it, and it should be safe. Okay, and I think this is this is all in all the the equations, uh. but nonetheless, this is the lower limit equation. This is the upper limit equation. You want to know, all right, and this equation, all right, is uh, I think not the same. Uh. And I think this is the P is fiber. Okay, so some terms that is a bit weird. For example, over here the E1, alright, they actually didn't say about any of the K value. If you remember for E1, we have the the K value, the fiber efficiency factor for the fiber KEF, alright. But however, if you come over here for the fiber, there is there is nothing. There's no K. So I don't know whether this is this a special system. You see over here, this is also P. That's why I didn't see anything with regards to P. Yeah. But yeah, so I'll leave this as a comment, and in the future, I'll just fill it in. Okay. Anyway, so this is the graph that you you are required to draw lah, and this is the important thing, and uh, nonetheless for this understanding also. Okay. And then next up is this one issue with the rails model for the transverse. All right. Is that is a simplified one does not describe. I uh, no, I don't want to read. It's because uh. In theoretical, this is like this. Alright, in the real life, it may actually be, re be arranged in this manner. 
all right and this can be proven with this picture over here all right this is supposedly to be modeled as this one all right we use this model but end up becomes like that okay so yeah you see by so that this is this is the issue with the the real model la. all right so actually ignore the constraints due to string concentration is yeah in the matrix between the fibers so previously we learned stress concentration but i don't know why stress uh, string concentration so the difference between them is that the stress concentration factor is uh you see the sigma y y divided by sigma total all right while the strain concentration factor is sig epsilon y y divided by epsilon total so i will not go into details on all this because i'm a bit lazy already i see the check but you just search difference between this thing and then you can go to the second science direct uh, dot com you should come here okay and then if you're free you can look it up if it's in the future you may need it okay so um i'll skip show you why why did i click this damn it <laughs> anyway give me a minute in a way the strain or the stress concentration factor is talking about the 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 circular if you think about it this is like a plate in a whole scenario all right so there will be a stress concentration factor along along this region if i were to go all the way in okay near the edge of the hole all right there will be a very high stress concentration factor all right because there is nowhere nowhere to go so normally if you think about it uh the the cracks often uh comes from the this the edges of the the circle so there will be cracks all along here if you think about it all right so the strain concentration factor also talks about in the, in that manner but in terms of strain previously it was stress so the strain would most probably be the one that uh maybe propagate the crack i don't know but yeah i don't know seriously i i seriously don't know but just take note of that lah, okay and we assume that the transverse stiffness the transverse and the longitudinal okay the e1 and the e2 direction all right but in terms of stiffness not not young modelers okay so that we assume that the stiffness of them are the same but not true for carbon and kepler remember that and then um the, I didn't I don't know whether they agreed, but it does not consider packing geometry. Will the real packing even less regular than either of these uh, idealized geometries? So, so I assume that the packing geometry is talking about this thing is being packed so nicely, okay? Like this one also is being packed so nicely, but this is called the spear packing, alright? We don't have any geom other stuff, but this is very nicely packed. Right, and we are actually ignoring that we are we are actually thinking about real packing which is less regular or yeah rest regular i mean less regular which yeah no. so this means that the less regular packing is is more easier to analyze better than the the packing geometry because i will assume that the packing geometry is so neat that it is it is not very uh it is not very realistic and therefore uh, this is why they they assume that the real packing uh, yeah okay so normally we we they they analyze things in a packing geometry but however the issues with this model is that the real system does not pack the geometry as neatly as what we thought of is it yeah same i don't check really uh but you just own self think about it lah. So this sentence I would assume is that in this reals model, okay, I don't know why like that. In this model, uh, we does not consider the packing geometry, okay, because the real packing itself isn't regular at all. So there is no point in also considering the packing geometry, and this is why we didn't consider the packing geometry. We can just leave it as it is, alright, and. And just analyze in terms of a less regular one because even the less regular one is not very near to the idealized geometry or the it's not very near to the to the one that we want it to be all right so we know sometimes we want the things the shape to be like this or however due to the due to more realistic stuff uh, it, it can't pack properly all right to the one that we really want 
so therefore there's no point in, 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 des in designing a packing geometry system I think okay at least I'm trying a way to come up with a, a, a reason a meaning behind this so that you can memorize better so I think this is it la. so uh, yeah la. so later on I think tomorrow la, tomorrow then I'm yeah, tomorrow also cannot. Tom yeah. In the future, in the future we'll do the rest. See you later.